Hi guys and welcome to login system developed in Excel. Let me show you guys how this works. This system actually has three methods. So the first one, let's try to enter whatever in there. There we go. You have one. There. And finally, and the system we actually log you out. There. Okay, but if you decide to enter, let's say we enter another false information the first time and the second time we decide to enter the correct details, what will happen is the system will take you straight to your system there. And that's what this tutorial is all about. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Excel development environment using VBA. I will put together one of these. This very interface you guys are looking at is officially on YouTube. So you can always watch this video if you like something like this. So I'm going to exit out and let's start a new project entirely. Okay, guys, let's start a new project. We come in here to the developer tab and just click on the developer tab just in case if you don't have your developer tab all you need to do is you go to file and select options and once the option once this dialog box pops up you see where we have customized ribbon click on that and your developer tab should be here if it's not there drop this down and search for popular commands you should be able to see your developer tab and you just drag it onto this part of the dialog. Make sure it's checked and you click on OK. And that should appear there. All you then need to do is just to click on the developer tab and your Visual Studio development environment is right here. You can always press Alt F11 to get to it. That is it. Now I'm going to click on insert there. So this is the very first form that I'm going to be using. I'm going to make the size approximately here 700. And the width, I'm going to make the width about. I'm going to go for, let's move this up so that you guys can see what I'm about to do. The width, I'm going to make that 1050. That's fine. There and that's all there is to that so i have a form here i might as well add another form that's going to be for my second form the width of that second form as well is going to be 1050 why the height will be 700 as well there we go there so the first form that's the one we need to deal with right away so this very one let's just peg it back where it was bring it down or just double click on it yeah that's it okay and oh, let's rearrange it i prefer it this way okay the very first form here that's going to be for my interface itself for the login that's what this project is all about login system and that's my very first one and inside it i'm going to add another framework so come right in here just add another frame there I now need labels another one and text box two of those copy then I also need a button there and copy copy again there we go right that is that done for my second form I'm just going to copy my previous program and just dump it there this is the second form so I'm going to enter that let's move that up so this very program is already on YouTube so if you guys want you can get hold of that very program now let's come in and just change the background of it to something a little bit pronounced there that's the second form and this is my login form itself so let's change the background of that to 
something yeah that is fine and this very one let's change the color of this one to something lighter yeah and i'm going to select all of these buttons let's change their size to something readable i'm going to make that about 24 there we go that's cool select this and i'm just going to change that to let's look for password so inside the password i'm going to enter a star there so that uh, when you enter whatever in there you will only see stars and here let's change that to login there and the variable name i'm going to change the variable name to cmd login this is for reset or cancel we can even call it cancel or reset cmd reset okay reset the whole system and the details is going to be reset here it's going to be exit and there we go copy that i'll be cmd exit there and right here that's going to be my username there we go the text box would be called txt user username and the next one here is going to be the password there and the text box this is going to be txt there we go and right here i'm going to change this to login system there let's increase the font size of that so that you guys can see that let's make it something a bit bold yeah that's fine now let's just fix all of this make it look a bit presentable okay it's all done so let's double click on the command login and first of all i'm going to enter what is known as option explicit there and after that what i will then do is i'm going to declare my variable that i intend to use dim attempts let's say as integer okay so the attempt will record how many times the user actually log in so let's start by by entering as follows attempt in the first place equals zero equals zero good so using a do while loop so let's say do y attempt attempt is less than and equals to three so what we want attempt to be is it's going to be attempt equals attempt plus one there so for every time there's an error logging in it automatically incremented so now let's use an if statement if txt username dot text equals whatever you intend to use as your login details let's say we're using q80 and the next one txt password dot text equals let's assume we're going for one two three four yeah that's fine then we want the following to happen clear out all of the details and open up the system okay let's do that i'm gonna grab this paste it right here clear and repeat the same thing for this one as well there okay so we then ask it to show this very one here 
user form this one we'll show so let's say user form two dot show there that's taken care of else we wanted to clear everything here as well and then set focus let it set focus here and the user dot set focus giving you the second option to log in so now I'm going to just end it there let's say and if now we then ask it to loop okay so once it loops around we want it to show us the counter so I'm going to copy that just bring it down here you say attempt equals attempt plus one in that case let's see if attempt becomes three if attempt equals three if attempt equals three then we want a message box let me enter that in there just to say maybe contact contact your your system administrator tool okay so then we ask the system to just load that's supposed to be yeah okay come in here let's say unload me you have an error so unload me there we go and we also need to end if there that is it done so let's have a good look at our lines of codes take it from here let's select this and just get it a bit indented all right so i'm going to run it let's just see how that's going to look like then uh, we're going to call it the end of this program let's see where's my sub okay the sub is there so let's run it and see how that's going to look like the first time one two three okay it's, let's see what have i done wrong let's go back in there now our lines of code double click on that okay guys what um i was meant to do was to create a counter let's come in here i'm just going to add another one variable there i'm going to call it out counter instead of using my attempts here i'm going to just say counter equals one okay that's a counter and if counter equals three there so that should take care of that very problem that i had All right so let's run it now and see so enter one two three there we go you, you've been locked out so let's try again and enter the right details q a t and that is one two three four there we go look at that so that's working fine all right so let's take care of these two and call it the end of this nice tutorial so i'm going to double click on that and let's just copy this and paste it there so that takes care of that right there okay so that is for reset with top so you can see that's for reset there we go now what about exit come right in here double click on exit and i'm going to declare as follows i'll call it i exit i equals vb message box that should be us as vb message box result and i exit i say equals message box so I'm just going to enter confirm if you want to exit there we go there that's my first argument the second argument is going to be VB question okay plus 
VB yes or no? There, that's the third argument. And the next argument, I'm just going to enter login system. There, I prefer to log out this way. And these are methods that you can use to enhance the look of your program. So, end user can end up clicking on exit mistakenly. So, that's why it's good to prompt them to confirm if they want to exit or not. So I'm going to say if VB yes equals if VB exit equals yes then uh, unload me unload me and we just say and if there yeah, that's it all done that is the exit lines of codes so let's run that and see exit no exit yes all right let's come back in here the lines of code for exit take it down lines of code for login details from here and reset so right at the top you must declare the following and let's run my program again there QAT and in here one two three four there so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this nice tutorial and if you guys want this very one right here I already have it on YouTube so I'm gonna say bye for now